Hey guys, Red Snow Without Limits here again. We're um, well, we're here on the CPU again, and we're we're gonna get started uh, back up where we started. Well, sort of. Uh, so what I've done here is I've built the framework to a decoder, and if you haven't looked at my decoder episode, then go ahead and check that out. Um, very useful information there. So. Uh, what I'm going to do here is we're going to set up a decoder to take all our um, instructions, like a binary number, and turn them into something uh, that the computer can read. So uh, the way we do this is uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to place a torch here, and that'll be our one. And then for the rest of these, we're going to place, uh, or we're not going to place a torch. So uh, the idea is whenever you turn this on, then it enables this line. And whatever the line is off, uh, that means it's, it's on. So just remember that. So that line over there. Uh, so now we're going to do this for uh, every single one of these. And I'm going to walk you through that. Uh, but I'm going to only do a few, and then the rest of them you're going to have to uh, figure out on your own. It's just doing the binary numbers. So basically, the way these work is the zeros or zeros go on this side, and ones go on this side. Okay. So now that we have that out of the way, it's um, a lot easier to understand. So uh, right here we have a zero, and then we have a one, which would be two. Hopefully that makes sense. And we're gonna have one. We're gonna have a zero here. No, no. A one here. Or wait. Okay. One. Or no, zero, zero. So let's try this out. So we have the one. And then whenever we turn off that, then we get the two. So um, I will be back once I have done this. So yeah, I'll probably put a time lapse in the top left hand corner and we will be back once I've done that so here I go okay guys I'm back and um, we're ready to get started on the program memory uh, so one other thing we have to do is go ahead and get these repeater lines in here so it'll actually activate uh, over here, which is pretty important, you know. So let us get, yeah, we'll just place repeaters along in this section. That'll make it easier for us. Yeah, that looks like it reaches. Good. Cool. Uh, so now we're going to get started on the program memory. And what this is going to be able to do is, well, um, it's going to store a program that you have written. And I will do kind of like a branching off series uh, on how to program this. Um, basically how to program in machine code. So what we're going to need for this line is, uh, well, first of all, we want to make it a little bit smaller. So we want to bring all these lines in here, like so. And then uh, I just want to make this clean so they all fit um, on a nice small bus. So we're going to do that. There we go. So that is the instruction bus done. Now the next part we need is 
the um, immediate bus or the upper end bus. So I'm going to do that and then I'll be back once I've done that. So, Okay guys, so we have it all bussed up and now we can just start adding in the lines of code for the program counter. So um, this first line is going to be made out of uh, wool and this is going to be uh, your instruction. Okay. So, and then this second part is going to be made out of the sandstone, and that's going to be your operand or your, uh, well, uh, your immediate. So, uh, now we can just stack this a few times. And we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, after I add these lines, okay. So, let's just get that stacked. Also, um, we might want to move this instruction set over a bit. Uh, like so. Let's uh, move it three times. Nah. Uh, five. Oop. Yeah, let me let me just redo that. So let's move that. Yep, perfect. Cool. Okay, so now we just stack this sixteen times, or fifteen. And since we only have a four bit. Um, system, then we can only have up to 16 lines of code. So that's how that works. Stack 15. So these will be all of our lines of code that we can uh, do. So, um, well, we got to make the program counter which I will be making in the next episode, and that will be the final episode um, until we start programming. Um, but yeah, if you like this video, then go ahead and hit that like button. If you want to see more, then I make videos uh, about every day, so go ahead and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.